What's going on, Sparks fans? And welcome back to the Spark. You already know it's DJ Treacy Treese, and I am here with another episode of my personal fan favorite podcast for the LA Sparks. Y'all, we have a lot to talk about since last week. A lot has happened. The Sparks are still on this long, long, long road trip. I couldn't even imagine being away from my bed this long, y'all. They've played like eight or nine games, I think, and are still away from home. They played New York twice over the weekend. Um, had an injury along the way with Cameron Brink going down with the ACL tear. Um, and signed a new play. It, I mean, it's like almost a whole world of basketball has happened, and they still are not home. They still got one game left on the road trip that will be played this Friday in Phoenix against the Mercury at the Footprint Center. Yo, let's just start from the top and just rip off the Band-Aid with the Cam Brink news, y'all. It was announced that Cameron Brink had an ACL tear during the game. Um, I can't remember which game it actually happened. It was like two games ago. But um, so she is out for the season. We haven't received any updates on when she'll be back. Uh, big prayers out to Cam, hoping for a speedy recovery. Um, don't come, you know, don't rush, rush. Because, I mean, to let's be honest. These college players, when they enter the WA dra draft, they're rushing, right? Cam Brink was playing in the NCAA tournament. And then playing USA basketball, went to clean out her dorm room, did training camp with the LA Sparks, um, and then was going to play in Paris for the Olympics uh, on the break that she had during the WNBA. So it's like, even then she wasn't going to get a break. So we want to wish Cam as much rest and recovery as possible. The Sparks are in a rebuilding year. She's going to have to overcome that injury, but I know she'll come back stronger. She's got a lot of support in the Sparks. Um, as well as so much support with people like Dierica Hamby and other people who are on her team who are constantly always rooting for her. So big prayers out to D, D I'm sorry, not Dierica Hamby, Cameron Brink. All right. Since I'm talking about Dierica Hamby, she's on the top of my mind as I was clicking the article here because she will be taking Cam's place in the women's three on three Olympic Games, y'all, in Paris. Dierica has had much success with three-on-three -three basketball, uh, women's basketball. She's won a gold medal already, so excited to see her play in that spot as well. Um, very much well-deserved, and I was looking forward to her having a break there too. Um, but it looks like now how does this play out with the All-Star thing? Because if you haven't been voting for All-Stars, this is the time to vote right now. Uh, the All-Star game, the Olympic team will be playing the WNBA All-Star team, which is kind of weird because – all of the WNBA All-Stars is on the damn Olympic team. So it's going to be like second string All-Star, if that makes sense, because most of the, the starters for the, the All-Stars are on there, with a little bit of exceptions, but okay. But it's fan voting. There are some some media votes that might offset that. So it looks like Kaylin Clark is going to be an All-Star. I'm not saying she doesn't deserve it, but you can very clearly see. She's like, Alyssa Thomas is way down on the list. Like, what, what are we doing here? You know, that kind of thing, that kind of thing happens over and over. But let's talk about the Sparks, y'all. The Sparks haven't won a game since June 9th. It has been a rough month. We've been talking to Coach a lot about the adjustments that he can make mid-game. He's now lost Cameron Brink, um, signed a hardship contract with Queen Egbo on Saturday night at midnight going into the game uh, day for Sunday. Queen flew from Houston. L.A. overnighted Carly Samuelson's old jersey, duct taped it, and sold the duct tape over it because they didn't even have time to make a jersey. That's how fast this went down. She actually played in that game on Sunday, only had two points, played a couple minutes, got a good rebound, already showing some kind of impact, but I'm sure Coach wants to uh, get some of that much-needed practice in to, to get her a part of the schemes and, and, and get her into that rotation. The good news is she comes from Connecticut. Coach is used to playing with players from Connecticut as you know he came from there built a lot of those systems so I do think it'll be a little bit easier he really likes her physicality and the things that she can bring to the game same here we're excited to see how she develops and grows so far a lot of these losses have been because we've been playing great teams right the we started off the loss against 
It's the Seattle Storm. They're playing amazing right now. The Minnesota Lynx, who are off to an amazing start. The Dream, that one slipped away from us. Atlanta Dream, we absolutely can beat the Atlanta Dream. Ryan Howard, which is one of their stars, also has an injury right now, so we could compete at a level uh, with Azare being out. For instance, you know, they're down one, we're down one kind of thing. Uh, Jordan Canada is back into their rotation, which is uh, – she didn't play when we played them on June 16th, but she's now back in there and they're playing a lot better. Um, but that was, that's, that was one of the games that slipped away from us. Um, we played the Connecticut Sun and only lost by nine points. That's a huge thing for us. You know, we could compete with those high-intensity teams that are at the top. And then we played the New York Liberty twice, which are the number one team in the WNBA right now, and we lost both of those games. Headed into Phoenix, hoping we can pull that one out, but they've been on a streak as well. Um, Excited to see the team get some rest, come back to crypto, get some practice in, and be able to make some of these adjustments. We've got Queen Egbo, who's a new player. De'Erica Hamby, who is up for All-Star. Make sure you go to your WNBA app and vote De'Erica Hamby for All-Star. She's also going to be playing in the Olympics. And um, the Sparks moved to 4 and, what are we, 4 and 19? Four and 13. I'm sorry. We ain't played that many games. Four and 13. Not the best season so far, but you're going to watch a lot of basketball. It's developing. It's honestly kind of cool to watch a team that you know has um, newer talent. This team is newer playing together, and you're watching them put the pieces together. It's okay that we're not playing the best right now. Coaches is adding that intensity for the players, and everybody's taking accountability for their actions and growing every single game when they come on the press conferences. So I'm excited to see what's happening with the Sparks and to see where we grow from here, especially with adding Queen Egbo and having Lee come into the game and slide into the the five position as well. So much more basketball stuff is coming, y'all. Thank y'all so much for tuning in to the Sparks. Uh, I want to mention before I get off of here, though, I will be live streaming on my channel all men's and women's basketball events. So if you need somebody to keep you company while watching those games, I'll be live streaming and giving my two cents. Maybe do a little play-by-play. We'll see how I feel. But it's really a place that you can just come and chill while the Olympic Games are on. They're on weird times, of course, because it's in Paris. But I got you. Okay, I've made the time. I'm blocking the time. Put it on your calendar. You'll see a promo here. So if you haven't liked, shared, or subscribed to um, my actual YouTube channel and you're listening to this in audio, come find me in video. It's definitely down in the description. I want to see you there. You can put me up in your TV, on your TV, play me in the background, do whatever you want. I'll keep you company while you're at work. Thanks for tuning in to The Spark. Give me five stars on Apple. You feel me? You like this podcast, just go give me a little bit of feedback. Let me know you want a little different format. You want to come on here and talk about The Sparks with me. Drop it in the comments, and I will talk to y'all soon for another episode. I'll see y'all back next Monday where The Sparks will play one more game, hopefully advancing to 5-13. and 13. It's been DJ Treacy Treats, y'all. It's always going to be me. Thanks for tuning in to my channel, and I will see y'all soon.